Hello, and welcome to Farming Simulator 15. I'm your farmer, Hopeless Gamer. Now, today, or tonight, or this morning, or this afternoon, whenever you're viewing this video, for me it'd be tonight, I'm going to show you some of the equipment that is used for Farming Simulator. Now, I do have a career that I'm doing very well on. Right, I've only got three fields and my uh, profit margin is extremely good. And I've got two save games. One on Westbridge Hills and one which I've just recently started up, just this uh, today, in Bajorn Home because the fields are cheaper and they're a lot closer to the farm than on Westbridge Hills. Now I'm going to show you, by cheating, just what this game has to offer. Just wait for the game to load. I've never been on this map, so it's my first time. Right, there's only me on this map because there's no equipment whatsoever so first off we need to buy equipment that we oh, excuse me that we can use for this farm now the first thing we need is a harvester and a header so we go into the shop Now, when we first start, we always have this Comia C6, but it's got a very small tank and it's not brilliant. It does the job, it's just not brilliant. Now, we could, with our money, buy the Crown Big X 1100. Um, very big problem with this particular combine. It doesn't have a storage tank in it. Instead, what it does is you have to tow a trailer behind the combine in order to collect everything. Now, that's okay and willy-nilly if you're doing everything manual, but you can't do it when hiring a worker. Or you can hire a worker to drive the truck, but you have to tow the trailer using a tractor and follow next to the combine. So we're not going to go for that. That Mex 5, I don't know what that is, it's not even on any of the websites, but it's only got a working width for 2 meters, so no, we're not going for that. Um, we could go for the more powerful um, CR10, but we don't have to yet, because we're only starting the farm up. Now, I found that the case 2s, are really good and all that. The New Holland's brilliant. There's no question about it. But the case just seemed better. And I think the one that I would go for... Right. Well, obviously, the one that we would all go for would be the one with the caterpillars on the front. Because it just looks so futuristic. Alright, so we're going to go for that. Now, we also need the 3162 Draper, which is 45 foot for that. So we buy that. Go to the next page. Right, and that's the one we need. 3162, £79,000. Now this one can only do the following. It can only do wheat, barley and canola. Mind you, they all pretty much can, but you need separate ones for corn. So, um, we need that. Fetch purchase at the store. 
Now, you don't have to drive to any store and all that. All you have to do is click the left button on the controller. Now, I really do like this. I've driven it once before, it really likes it. But also, it comes with the header on wheels, so you can tow it around. But we're not going to tow it, we're going to do something easier. Do, 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 do. What we're going to do, reset vehicle tool. Let's take us straight to the farm. Reset vehicle tool. Right. There we go. Right, there we go. So I'm just going to disconnect the header, move forward, attach the header, and then we connect it. Click attach, hold left bumper, you want to unfold the harvester, which is left bumper and A, to unfold the harvester. Now, we've currently got selected, but it will give us straw. Now, we don't want straw, so we disconnect straw. Now, on the controller, you hit the back button to select to your tool. And you want to fold your tool because that gets rid of the wheels, so it turns it into a normal harvester. Now I'm not going to do this myself. I'm going to hire a worker. I've got loads of money. But we're going to let him do the first part. And there it goes. So that's doing... So that will probably take... One, two, three... Probably three and a half. Alright. Now, the biggest problem with the hiring workers... With these big massive combines... Is that they do miss a bit. And I'll show you why. Now he's turning round... Oh no, he hasn't missed it. Oh yes he has missed it. Um, anyway, while he's doing that, I mean he's got storage. Well and truly more than the other. So 
we're going to go into the shop and we're going to buy ourselves a tractor now which tractor you say all right now out of all of them the first three are okay these two the agrostar 6.61 and the 6135a are very good tractors no doubt about it and what i found with most of the equipment on the game is most of the equipment can be run by these two tractors alone so there isn't so when you start out the these two tractors are your best options because they will mostly do most of the work the h488 is okay for pulling small trailers or getting your equipment to the field but apart from that it is it's old and you don't want it there's no power in it whatsoever now when buying front loaders everybody thinks ah front loader and a tractor very useful avoid the t475 it is hopeless it is too light and when you've got something on the front end it isn't heavy enough um, what I found is you have to buy the maximum weight which is 1600 kilos in order to put on the back end but still it is too it's too light it's plus the 75 horsepower engine and it is hopeless I mean this the H488 is a way better tractor than it so avoid the New Holland T475 avoid it at all costs if you want a front loader buy a front loader that was designed for the purpose not a multitask which goes for the same as these two avoid these two like the plague they are pathetic as tractors they're just not worth it the tractor i do like and absolutely when I drove it first that I fell in love with is this now these two tractors are near enough the same right but this green one the Deutz Fahrer the 7250 TTV is way better than the Lamborghini but not only that is the same as the Lamborghini it costs more because it's got more power right but it is the fastest tractor 38 miles per hour from a tractor and it gets there quickly it doesn't slouch around it is quick but the quickest tractor i've driven is this the new holland t8435 smart tracks my god it goes like a pocket rocket it's so fast it only does 32 miles an hour but my god does it not pulse some heavy equipment i mean the case to the quad track which was featured in top gear is good no doubt about it but my favorite is the t8 435 but we're not going to buy that we're going to buy the deutz fahrer so that's brought uh now we need a tipper trailer now out of all of these really the best one to go for and this is no word of lie the best one to go for is the tmk266 bull 32,000 litres you can't go wrong and one thing i've noticed you can attach trailers to each other so if you have two of these so we're going to buy one and we're going to buy another one we're going to go to the store and watch this pure and utter genius you can put two trailers back to back but that's not all because 
these two trailers are identical so you've got a hook and point there you have a hook and point at the back which means you can tow more trailers behind each other <coughs> now one thing I don't know about these trailers is I haven't really done experiments with them is as with the first two trailers they are able to tip side to side or tip back judging by the facts looking at these two I think they only tip back which means unloading is well pretty much I don't know if they're the same um, they might be able to I don't know but they might be able to unload I don't know we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it I mean if I find out or if somebody already knows then tell me um, but ideally these two are what you need at the start so we'll get in um, now we're at the farm shop so let me drive to the farm and we'll catch up with you there This numpty's missed quite a lot, so let me just take control of this, and we'll then unload into the trailer. From that little field we've got 5,319. Right, let's go see about it.
so they unload from the back only. So, which nice to know. So. Now, these three bits here, you've got woodcutters on your left, you've got sugar beets in the middle, and you've got potatoes on the right hand side. Now, um, you need a front loader to unload the wood chips, but the other two you don't, you just need a trailer and it will automatically be tipped. There is one thing I have learned about sugar beets harvesting. Now, when you start off, Get as much money as possible and buy and buy the FT300 and the Roots the 604. Just buy them. Your ordinary tractor, the um, ooh, where is it? This, the Deutz Fahrer Agro Star will pull both of them and control both at exactly the same time. So if you do that, then it's a must. I mean, if you can afford the 479,000 for that, kill it, because you can hire a worker. So, right, anyway. I'm going to wrap that up for this. See me in part two when I'll show you more equipment that you'll need. Thanks for watching. I've been Hopeless Gamer. Happy farming.